Hey guys, so we're back with some more fan suggested battles in tabs. Thank you so much for suggesting so many different battles. Unfortunately, you suggested so many, we can't put them all into one video, otherwise it'd be way too long, so I'm going to have to split them up. So today we're going to be testing out the tornado that we saw in the last video. We're also going to be doing some testing on how good the cheerleaders really are. And then we're going to be finishing it up with two massive epic battles. Minecraft versus Fortnite and then Halloween versus Christmas. So make sure to stick around till the end. And also, if you have any other suggestions, make sure to put them down in the comments and we'll put them in a future video. So don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can keep up to date with all of my future content, including live streams. And it will be absolutely awesome. I appreciate you guys so much for subscribing. We've really grown fast. So thank you for all of that. And let's just get on with the battles. So the first one we have is one tornado versus a mammoth. So we need some cheerleaders. So we're going to put in some cheerleaders. There we go. Let's uh, let's just fill in the hole. I don't know why I always do the ring because I'm not going to put him in the middle of it this time. And then we need a mace spinner. And that is how we create a tornado. So then we need the mammoth. Now we're going to be testing them out against the big units. So the mammoth is the first one. And this is pretty simple. I didn't have to take long setting up. So let's just get on with it. Let's go. Now I'm going to slow it down while I get the camera into position and then let's let it play. Now he does get hit, but he does have a tornado going. So I need to kind of slow it down just so I can follow him around with the tornado. He moves so fast. He's gone again. Mate, slow down. You're going too fast. It's in slow motion and you've just completely gone now. Oh, he's come back for more. And he is... Oh, he died. Okay, I thought he actually might have stood a chance against the Mammoth, but he did actually die. Now, I wonder whether that's just luck-based or whether the Mammoth will always win. So we're going to let it play through again really quickly. We're not going to slow it down at all this time. We're just going to let him do his thing. He is going, but he, by the looks of it, he's just missing all of his attacks and just wiping out the cheerleaders, which isn't that great. And yes, so it was luck-based. He actually defeated the mammoth that time nice so yeah he's at he's actually quite powerful i didn't realize how good the tornado would actually be obviously he's fun to look at but i didn't think that he would actually be able to kill the mammoth that easily like i thought it'd go on a lot longer but let's move on from the mammoth so the next one we have is the samurai giant which i don't think he's going to be able to cope with that well i'm going to move him back slightly so he has a bit of chance to get up and running but because his attacks are quite powerful, the Samurai Giant. So, let's go for that one. Will he get going in time? I mean, oh, he has. He has avoided the first attack. So, he might actually stand a chance in this fight. Because I don't think the Samurai can actually get him. Because he just keeps moving away too fast. And he is going around pretty fast. But did he win? He did win. Nice. So you can actually take down a samurai giant as well. He's actually pretty powerful. I like him. He's not just fun to look at. He's actually a good unit. So the next up we have got him versus the tree giant. Now this one might be a little bit different because of how big the attack is on the tree giant. Because obviously instead of just a fin blade he's just got a massive tree. So I don't think he's going to win this one. But we're going to see what happens. Let's go. And I was right. <laughs> he just died straight away. Um, we're just going to stop it there because obviously the cheerleaders don't attack. So that didn't really go too well. We may go back and see if I put in more of them. He can actually destroy a tree giant. But seeing as we've got just the one there at the moment, let's go for the last one. And that is the ice giant. Because I think he may actually be able to cope quite well. Because once again, it's a small attack radius. So, let's see if he can kill the Ice Giant. Well, he did manage to duck underneath the attack, and he's now just riding around on his head. He is dodging it. I think he may actually stand a chance. Go on, Mr. Tornado. I love this Tornado guy. He is awesome. And the Giant just can't seem to hit him. He's just moving too fast. Nope, the Giant did still win. But once again, I think that might be... A bit like the mammoth situation where I think it's just luck. 
But we're not going to try again because I think it is just luck. There's no point in testing it. So let's go back to the tree giant because obviously he killed him straight away. So what I'm thinking is if we add in some more groups, we'll add in some more cheerleaders there and some more cheerleaders there. Then we'll put in another mace spinner and another one there. Let's create more than one tornado. I'm hoping that the tree attack will just kill one of them or two of them and we'll still have one or two left. So, right, so it killed one, but we do have two going now. And they died straight away. Okay, so, by the looks of it, I don't think they can take down the tree giant. We'll go again one more time. We'll see what can happen. And they've just made each other fly again. Um, and I think, yeah, one of them killed the other two. So he's coming back down. But it does mean he's still alive and going. But he did just die again. So, yep, yeah, they cannot kill a tree giant. Which is a shame. I kind of wanted them to kill him. Because they are awesome. But the tree giant is just way too OP. So let's get rid of him. We're going to get rid of these as well not all of them so let's get rid of those and then we are going to get rid of him and we're going to put in a couple of fan bearers because basically the cheerleaders just make the people attack really really fast now obviously the developers have put in the tornado because of it but i'm guessing it's going to make these attack really fast which i'm hoping will look really funny now we're not going to put them up against anything too big because I don't think that would be that fun. So, we need just some standard... Let's just put in some clubbers. And we'll just do groups of them. Let's put in... Let's say 50. And we'll see what happens. Let's go. Now, are they going to attack really fast? Yes, they are. They are attacking really fast. That is way too fast. That's awesome. I don't know what that squeaking is. Is that the cheerleaders that squeak? It sounds like a, an animal, but that's pretty cool. So they they are actually quite good, the fan bearers, if you put them with cheerleaders. On their own, they're not that great. But because of how fast they attack with the cheerleaders, they just seem to absolutely dominate. And they're about to win, which is also really good. Well done, fan bearers. So, there's one more that I have to test out. And it's going to be quite a big battle. Because, we obviously, we know that Artemis attacks really, really fast. So, with the cheerleaders, I just really want to see what that's like. So, we've got some clubbers in, but we've only got 50 of them. And that's quite a boring amount. So, we're going to put in more. I don't know why I'm doing that. I should just dot them around. Why not? Let's say, go for 150. Do we think Artemis, with cheerleaders, can kill 150 clubbers? It might make it lag, but we're going to find out. Let's go. So it is lagging slightly, but she is attacking so fast. Look at how fast those arrows are going. That is insane. We don't actually know where she is, though. That's the problem. She's just right in the middle. And I think, I mean, the arrows are just going everywhere now. She's just firing all over the place. She's not even attacking the people. Okay. So she did actually end up winning still. We just didn't see what happened. Now, I'm wondering, if I take out a bit of the lag, so we're going to remove 50 of them and just put in 100, because we need to slow it down a little bit, just so we can see what happens. There we go. So we're getting... Uh, yeah, we're not getting any lag, but we can actually see her firing really fast now. But, oh, that's why we couldn't see what's happening. Is because, obviously, when she fires, she pushes herself backwards. So, because she's firing really fast, she is moving back so quickly. Now, I'm wondering, what if I get rid of the cheerleaders and put them on the sides? Because that way we can really see what she does. I think that may be the best bet. So, we're going to put some cheerleaders there. And we're going to put some cheerleaders there. And then we're going to go... Because now we can really see. Yeah, so because she's pushing herself backwards. She's just going absolutely mental. She is just firing everywhere. And did she just make herself fall over? She was going so fast. Yes. She's actually making herself fall over. That is awesome. I love you, Artemis. You are 
absolutely insane. So with cheerleaders, Artemis, I think, would be pretty much unstoppable. So, one more test with Artemis, because I just have to test it out. Let's go for 10 Ice Giants. Let's go! Can she kill 10 Ice Giants if she's got cheerleaders? Now, obviously, she's pushing herself along, and she's actually pushing herself towards them. And she made herself fall over, and I think she's about to die. Which isn't good for her. Although, I think she's protected herself with a dead body. I don't really know what's happening. I can't really get in there. What if I slow it down? Can I get in and see? Where is she? This is so hard to move around in here. There are just so many arrows. That is crazy. Um, Artemis, are you okay in there? You seem a little stuck. And I'm a little stuck. I can't get out. There we go. I got out. Yay. She can't know. And I think we're just going to be stuck here now. Unless they kill each other. Okay, so that plan didn't really work. So we're, let's reduce it down. I think there's too many of them. Let's just do four. Let's go. Let's see if she can kill four of them really fast. And she's gone insane again already. She's just mental. She really is mental. She don't know where she's firing. Worst accuracy ever. And she fell over again. Now what I'm worried about is... Oh, I thought she might actually push herself off the edge. But, Artemis with cheerleaders, possibly one of the best things they've ever done in this game. That was awesome. But now it's time to move on to some more of the matches that were suggested. So, we are now on 20 Squires versus 1 King. Which, I don't think is going to be as much fun as what we've just seen. But we're still going to put it in. So let's do... Do you know what? I think we should actually be able to fit in one line of 20. Yeah, we can. That's fine. Against the king. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be as fun. I probably should have saved Artemis till the end. But that's the way it goes. Let's see if the king can kill 20 squires. I mean, he's just wiped out half of them already, I think. He is really powerful. Is he going to do it? Is he? I mean, I don't know why I'm asking that. I should be saying, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Because the Squires are actually quite weak. And he's basically a god on this game. Wait. What? No. That's not how it is supposed to go. Why did you do that? Now the king's dead. Um. Okay. That kind of ruined what I thought was going to happen, but sure. Okay, so 20 squires can apparently kill one king. I didn't think that would happen. I thought you'd have needed about 50 of them to take on a king. But that's what happened. I don't really know what to say about it now. But now it is time to move on to the first of our two big battles. And that is Minecraft versus Fortnite. So, Team Minecraft, red team, as I've been told to do them, I've been told to put Minecraft on the red team, we have got three harvesters. So, do you know what? Let's space them out, because normally I group everything together. Let's space them out a bit. So we've got three harvesters, which are the miners from Minecraft, obviously. Then we have got a bone mage, which I'm going to have to put at the front, I suppose, because obviously otherwise it'll just kill all of its friends. But there is a skeleton. Then we've got five archers, which are bows. So where are my archers? There. So let's do one, two, three, four. That's a bit too grouped together. I said I weren't grouping them. Let's spread them out slightly. There we go. Five archers slash bows. Then we have got Ten squires, which are swords, obviously. And that is there. So we'll put that behind the bone mage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Then we've got a potion seller, which is there. There we go. And that is a witch. And then we've got eight firework archers, which is in Dynasty. And that is, that is, they are the creepers. So, where do we put them? Should we put them at the back? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Hey, left a bit of a gap there. Let's uh, let's just move those slightly, if I could put them down well. There we go. So that is Team Minecraft. Which is quite a cool team. Quite a nice little assortment of people. It's not bad. But now it is time to build Team Fortnite. So, on Fortnite's team we have three harvesters again. And they are obviously default skins. Where if you've seen my Fortnite videos, you'll know I was a default skin for a very long time. So I'm kind of rooting for these guys. Definitely rooting for the uh, default skins. And then we've got one firework archer. And that is a boombo. I don't get on well with the boombo in Fortnite. But we're going to put them in because it is still quite a cool weapon. So then we have one ninja. And they've put... Do I even need to say anything? Obviously not, but I don't like Ninja. Never never liked watching Ninja play, so it's a shame we have to put him in. But we'll put him in anyway, because that's what you requested. So I aim to deliver. So then we have three wheelbarrows, which I'm going to have to put at the front. Now, where are the wheelbarrows? There, and they are the ATKs from Fortnite. Which makes sense as a vehicle, so yeah, definitely that's the closest you can get to a vehicle pretty much. And then we have one king, which is the Infinity Blade. Now I like the Infinity Blade in Fortnite. It's actually quite a cool uh, cool weapon. It, is, it takes a bit of a while to get used to, but still pretty good. I was going to place him there just then, but we're going to have to put him off to the side. Because if he starts attacking, he's just going to hit the king in the back. But that is team Fortnite. So we have Minecraft versus Fortnite. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to slow it down as soon as I start it because I need to get the camera in position. But let's just see the initial attacks. I do love those firework archers. And well, the wheelbarrows are just down straight away. We do have Ninja doing his thing. But he is now a little bit confused. And Ninja's dead. Ninja died straight away. Ninja sucks. But, good old King with the Infinity Blade. Still alive, but I don't think he's going to do that well. We haven't really done much at all. So, yeah, Team Fortnite died. Team Fortnite lost. Team Minecraft won. That was actually quite a good battle, though. I'll give it that. That was actually quite an entertaining one. It went on a lot longer than I thought it would. I f because there's so many of those guys and so few of those, I honestly thought they would just wipe them out straight away. But I guess because of the king, that's why it went on a long time. But that was actually a pretty epic battle. But now we have the most epic of all battles ever done. Halloween versus Christmas. Now, obviously, when I'm putting this video on YouTube, it's nowhere near Halloween. It's nowhere near Christmas. But what the hell? This is what we do. We're crazy. Let's do it. So, Team Christmas. We have 20 archers. Oh, I was right on it then as well. 20 archers and they are elves. So, let's put in 20 archers. Let's just let's just do a full line of them. Why not? We'll try and do it central to them if we can. Then we've got 15 halflings. And the halflings are children. So, we're going to put them towards the front because of how they attack. So, we've got 15 of those. There we go. That's 15 halflings. Then we've got a catapult. Where is the catapult? There it is. And that is a coal launcher. Which, I like that. I like using that as a coal launcher. It looks like coal. It works. That's pretty cool. Then we've got one ice giant. And they've said... I don't know, just because of ice. So, just because of ice and Christmas, we're going to put in an ice giant. But we're going to put it towards the back because obviously otherwise they'll just wipe out the other team like pretty much straight away. So we'll put him towards the back. Then we've got one wheelbarrow, which is Santa's sleigh. So, we need wheelbarrow. There we go. There's our good old wheelbarrow. Probably should have put him in front of the kids. But we're going to put him behind him anyway. So Santa can just run down loads of kids. Why not? 
So then we have three ice archers. They haven't said why, but obviously I'm guessing once again because of ice. And the ice archers are in Viking. So, how many was it? Three. So we'll just put down one, two, three. There you go, there's our three ice archers. Then we've got a dragon as a fireplace, which I kind of like, it's pretty cool. I'd love to have a dragon as a fireplace. I mean, who wouldn't? Have a good old pet dragon that could just be your fireplace. It'd be awesome. And then we've got one Zeus, which is Santa. And I'm guessing that's because of the beard that Zeus has in this game. It kind of works. And instead of lightning, we're just going to call them icicles. Because they kind of look a little bit like icicles. So that's Santa holding some icicles right behind his sleigh. Why not? And then we've got one king. If I can find the king again. And the king is Kevin the Carrot. So let's put him. He's going to go there. He's going to go right in front of the cold launcher. But that is Team Christmas. Which I actually really like as a team. I think that is an awesome little unit type army. I think it's pretty cool. So now we've got to build Team Halloween. And I don't know why I just pressed F again. I didn't want to look around. I want to place them. So... They've said most of these are just because of costumes, which makes sense. I mean, Halloween, all about the costumes, right? So, we have got five protectors. Now, I love these guys. They do look very Halloween-y. So, we're going to put those down. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that is five, isn't it? Yes, it is. I completely miscounted then. I was about to count six, placing down that last one. I confused myself. But, we have then got one knight. So... We need Medieval and a Knight. We're going to put him behind the Protectors. He is so much bigger than those guys. Look at them. They are tiny compared to him. He is gigantic. Compared to them, he actually looks like a giant. It's actually pretty cool. And then we've got one Scarecrow. I mean, the Scarecrow has to be Halloween. That one is awesome. So we're going to put him over there. Let's space him out a little bit. Then we have got five hay balers so there are hay balers so let's put down five of those pretty cool then we have got one harvester and that is death which i like i like the harvester being death why not then we've got three snake archers and that is medusa which i actually like i like the whole putting Medusa in using the snake archers that's pretty cool so we've got three of those as Medusa then we've got one executioner now the executioner definitely looks Halloween -y. I mean he's just awesome look at him he just looks so Halloween he just looks like he should be from a horror film so it's pretty cool and then we have got three tree giants now, I think this is what's going to swing the battle in favour of Halloween, is because we've actually put some giants in. And they are a spooky forest, which is awesome. I love that. I love using those as a spooky forest. I think it's really clever. And then to finish it off, we've got three ninjas, because who doesn't want to dress up like a ninja? So, let's put down our three ninjas. There we go. So that is Team Halloween. Which is pretty cool. I mean, the Scarecrow, he is definitely Halloween. He just reminds me of Jeepers Creepers. He is awesome. So, yeah. That is Team Halloween versus Team Christmas. Who's going to win? Final battle. Let's see. Let's go. And off Santa's sleigh goes. That is just gone. And I don't really know where to look at the moment. I mean, the dragon... Surely the dragon's going to do loads of damage. Because they're all grouped together. But we do have the ice giant taking on the forest. And the dragon is down. The dragon is just gone. The scarecrow hasn't really done much. Oh, there we go. He sent some more out now. I think we just didn't see them. Because they came out like right at the start. But, by the looks of it. All we have left is a coal launcher. No. Oh no, there was a guy down here. But he still died. And Team Halloween took it. Halloween is better than Christmas. It's decided. That is definitely 
the one event of the year you definitely have to celebrate now because they won the battle. So, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely loved doing these battles. They were awesome. Don't forget that if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. I'll put them in a future video. And also, drop a like, subscribe, notification bell. Peace out.